We're real excited, you know, and, and, and especially since we're going to be in the Big East and, and the non-league schedule seems to mean a lot more to us now. And so our goals are high, but uh, it's it's been long. You know, we started summer for the first time and we've been on the court for a very long time. So I can't wait for us to start playing. And it's just a great time of year, you know, just to be able to put the TV on and see basketball again and, and the excitement of basketball across the country. So it is exciting. It's also, you know, right now I, I can already feel myself getting in game mode a little bit and um, game week and and getting away from just about us all the time and now we got to worry about the opponents so it'll be different in the next couple of practices but I'm sure our kids will be ready for that. I think the things that stuck out to me is the first five minutes of the game and the first five minutes of the half because I, I feel like that's crucial parts of the basketball game and, and last year we really struggled coming out of the gates. Um, this year we came out of the gate really ready to go. I thought our kids executed on both ends and a lot of it was due to the defensive end so really happy about that. Had a little lull through the game, you know, but I was playing many matchups, you know, and in the first half we stuck to a game plan where probably we should have changed it and adjusted their ball screens, and we did adjust, and I was very happy to see our kids be able to do that on the fly and do such a good job with that. It was really special, you know, I mean, these are two players that played big parts in our success a couple of years ago, and then last year just, you know, were injured and couldn't play all year, and I think I was, I, I've seen Haley in practice, so I knew that she was going to come in and be ready. Haley is a high-energy player. But to see Sarah Ham come in and do what she did, I think I was a little shocked. You know, she's not been in practice that long because she's been hurt. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just emotional for me to think about those two players coming back after that and, and playing such a big part in our exhibition game. It's not a real easy preparation for our first game, but I think it will um, get our kids in the mode of understanding that we have to prepare and, and what we need to do. But we always battle with them, so I don't expect it will be anything else but a battle on Friday night. Right now we're going to start shippers at the point. Um, I felt like with Taylor playing the two, uh, she didn't seem to be on the floor. And Taylor's a leader, and we need her on the floor, and we need her vocal, and we feel like she can get more involved there. But we also feel like that we have great backup in Lex Murray, and she's been wonderful understanding her position and getting better every day, and I think you see two looks with them. I think any way we can get Butler Women's Basketball out there and let people see the product, I think that's going to help with our home crowds. And I really do feel like we have a solid product this year. It's going to be fun to watch our girls. Um, I think our effort will be up in every game. And then, you know, like I said, we have a lot of weapons on offense. So hopefully them seeing it on the webcast will want them to come and watch a home game.